there's plaque like plaques like this all along this corridor, all along there, all the, it wraps all around this whole park right here. And the reason why is because this land belonged to black people. All or, all the way down to the beach, straight down Pico. Environmental justice. Imagine Santa Monica in the late 1800s. African Americans settled on the land and enjoyed the beaches. But not all the land and not all the beaches. Black families could, couldn't could live in certain neighborhoods and weren't allowed on some white-owned properties. Legally, beaches were open to everyone, but white prejudice forced black Americans to find beaches where they were not bothered or insulted, like the Bay Street Beach. Now, fast forward to the 1950s. The city wants to modernize in South Santa Monica. Officials tear down some black neighborhoods and rebuild others. African Americans can no longer afford to live near the beach. Although stories like this are sensitive to relate, they're part of our city's history. They inspire us to promote environmental and social justice, where everyone has a healthy environment in which to live and access to places that make our city, state, and country special. Yeah, but you took the land, man. And I know exactly where this is. I park, sometimes I used to park right there. Man, we had all this and they took it from us, man. Or took it from these people, but it was for us. Foundational black Americans. Yeah, let me kick game. All around here is plaques, man. Black women empowered. All along here is just plaques. Let's check it out. Yeah, all this, man. This park right here, whatever this is, was black owned. All down Pico, all the way down there, and all these plaques commemorate what was going on. Not on my beach. In Jim Crow, California, 1900s to 1960s, white people prevented black people from holding businesses or property by the ocean. Damn, man, that's crazy. Black people owned all this stuff right here, man, and they just took it through intimate domain. What does this one say? No, 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 Jim Crow. During the 1940s, California's black population grew as African Americans came to work in jobs newly created by World War II. The fight for civil rights also grew. The fight for civil rights also grew, added by organizations such as National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Man, that is just crazy how all of this property, if they would have just left it alone, would be black people, man. Give us the loans to build these big hotels and businesses. What does this say? This site where you are standing was once a neighborhood called the Belmar Triangle. For more than 50 years, African Americans lived here. That's crazy, man. Like they say, man, they just want you to pay homage, man. Don't just take people's shit and act like they never had anything. And they're lazy and shit. That's bullshit. Peace some blessings. Wait, let's look at another plaque. This is what they did, man. They burned it down to the ground. What little we have, but you know, it was still prime real estate, million dollar property today, multi million dollar property. Peace and blessings, man.